so uh, hello my viewers and welcome to today's class okay today we are going to discuss about the basic cake uh, baking techniques i'm molly mobidan and as, as a start we are going to discuss different tools and equipment which are used in cake baking so uh, in this here you find some different type of pictures uh, that contains all the different tools and equipment that are reused for for baking or that are used in cake baking so i want us to start with a food of thought why is cake making very important the quote says if you are trying to create a company it's like baking a cake you have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion that is the secret of making a cake and the cake you see there it is giving us of uh, what is expected in real life it is a good illustration that if you want to make a good company is like baking a cake so what are some of the basic equipment that are used in cake making we have listed all of them down there uh, we have the baking tin we have the baking tin we have the the cooling rack uh, we have the food mixture we have the food processors all these are the basic equipment that are used in cake making the measuring spoon we have the mixed in bowl of the pallet knife we have the pastry brush and last and and also we have the sieve we also have the rolling pin we have skewers we have zesters we have scales spatula we have spoon and we have a whisk we have whisk so i want us now to to discuss the role of each the role of each and every a uh, tool and equipment in cake making so what is the role of a caking tin and uh, we say that a uh, a cake tin uh is that it is used is that contain that is used to hold runny butter to be baked in the oven after you have done your mixture you put it in a cake tin before putting it in the oven and we say that it exists in different uh, sizes shape color and also the, the surface texture another item that we are defining or we are introducing is a cooling rack what is a cooling rack Cooling rack is used to cool the baked cake before it is portioned for service. That is, if the cake is served as a dessert, or if it is a cake that is to be iced or decorated, it has to be put in a cooling rack. So the moment a cake is removed from the oven, it is put in a cooling rack so as to cool. Then another item that we shall be defining is an icing smoother. We just uh, explain randomly the use of these tools and equipment. Uh, we say that uh, an icing smoother is used in creating smooth professional finishes to cake when covering them with marzipan and sugar paste or fondant icing. When now you are doing the finishes, you want to make sure that the, 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 the cake is smooth, the ice is smooth, even fondant icing to smoothen it so that to take the shape of the cake, you use an icing smoother. The other one item that we're defining or explaining at all is the food mixture. It is used to mix ingredients that are used in cake making. And these mixtures exist in both electronic and hand mixers. So if you want to, if, if, if for example, you're mixing all the ingredient, the tool that you use is referred to as a food mixture. Then we have a food processor. Food processor, in, that one, in other words, is like a blender. It is used to blend those hard uh, nuts that might that, that maybe are required to be used as an ingredient for the cake, and also they are used to to blend juices that might be needed in the cake making process. Then we have a measuring spoon. A measuring spoon, we say, is used in the measuring of ingredients that are required in small quantities. Those ingredients needed in small quantity, like the different agents such as baking powder, baking soda, and other uh, other items, yeah, other other quantity, other um, ingredients that are required in small quantities. You can use, you can measure using a, a measuring spoon, and they exist also in different sizes. 
The other one that we are defined is the measuring jug. This we say that it is used primarily to measure the volume of liquid. Yeah, it's basically volume of liquid or bulk solid. Like for example, you need a lot of flour, maybe one kg. You can just use a measuring bag, measuring jug, to that level. Then you have a mixing bowl. Mixing bowl also you say that it is it is may exist uh, in both uh, as a plastic bowl uh, as, or a glass bowl, which is used to to mix different ingredients. Another item that we are defining is a pallet knife, and we say a pallet knife is used in spreading a substance onto a flat surface, such as frosting on a cake. So a pallet knife is that knife that is used to spread over ice, but mostly uh, butter ice, uh, butter ice over the cake, or the cream ice over the cake. It can use to spread it over. Then we have a pastry brush, and a pastry brush, we say that it is used to spread a glaze or egg wash on the crust or surface of the baking items, e.g. bread and the like. So a pastry brush, when you're making things like buns or bread, you want it to have that shiny effect after it is cooked. So you can use a pastry brush so that you can spread an egg, egg wash over it. And also a pastry brush can also be used to... Uh, to, to brush the baking tin uh, with some butter so that when the but when the paste or when the, the butter or the pastry item is put in the oven in the baking tin it will not stick then you have a sieve a sieve is also used to sieve the ingredients and they exist in different types and sizes so most of the before baking it is required that you sieve the dry ingredients why to, 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 to allow a reanimation of the, 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 the to, to, to allow the air getting in those ingredients so that after baking your product can rise effectively. Then a rolling pin is used to roll the pastry product. Then we have a skewer and we say a skewer is used to check whether the cake are cooked in the oven and also they exist in different form wooden and metallic. You, 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 you squeeze or you press the, the edges of the cake using a skewer and it will help you to know whether the cake is cooked or not. Then we have a zester and we say a zester is a tool that allows you to remove the zest from the citrus. The zest is the, the outer layer of maybe a lemon as any citrus fruit which is used in baking. So you can use a zester to, uh, to remove the zest. Scales, they are measuring scales that exist in different, uh, that, exist, that, that are used to, to measure uh, different ingredients like flour and all that. Spatula is used as a decorating tool uh, but can also be used to serve slices of cake. So it, 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 it basically works like a pallet knife but for this it can be used to slice and also can serve as a pallet knife to spread uh, the, 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 the decoration or to spread the, the icing on top of the cake. Then we have a whisk and we say a whisk is a cooking utensil, which can be used to blend ingredients smooth and to incorporate air into a mixture, which is in a process known as whisking or whipping. So a whisk, like there is a process in making cake which is known as whisking or whisk method, whereby you whisk, you, you whisk the eggs and the sugar until it rises maybe to double size. And then you add, you, you mix in the flour, you fold in the flour uh, slowly as you whisk it, it will rise. And, and, and it is basically used in, in making different types of cakes. That, and an exa a good example is a Swiss roll, is, is made using the whisking method. So, that is our food for thought. Happiness is having a self baked cake. And we can say that baking a cake is not a difficult procedure. It is a simple procedure, but you have to be organized and you have to bring all the ingredients and the equipment in your working place or your working station or working surface so that you will not waste a lot of time gathering the equipment here and there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep watching my YouTube channel or you will be done. Can please subscribe, share. And, 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 and keep watching, share the content and we shall be uploading each and every day.
the content in our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Asante sana.